All right, I, I don't even know how to start this one off. If you've watched this channel for any amount of time, chances are you've seen one, if not all, of the three PETA videos that I did. If you haven't, go back and watch that after this, because uh, basically PETA made and promoted a bunch of games that are PETA propaganda. The last video that I did and then subsequently uploaded with the other two as a trilogy was meant to be the final chapter. And... That's what it was supposed to be. PETA had no more games on their site, and it, there's a few that I wasn't willing to cover, but PETA had no more games that I hadn't covered other than those on their site, and I even tried to cover some of the ones that weren't playable anymore by finding footage online. Now, I, I always knew one day this would happen. PETA never said they were done making or promoting games, so I don't know why I naively thought that was going to be the end of it. Well, they're at it again. Now, I realize that it would be pretty hard for me to make another compilation PETA games video unless I waited super long for them to come out with a bunch of games, and God only knows how long that would take. So I've decided that whenever they post or make a game, I guess I'll make a video covering that specific game. Don't know how often this will happen, but just so that we keep it current i guess i'm gonna be doing this and you know i didn't even realize it but this game i think was posted only a few months after i uploaded the trilogy video so it's just been sitting here and i had no idea it's called monkey fright <sighs> let's go i guess also real quick if you end up liking the video and you want to see more subscribe and then tap the bell icon that's that's it do it if you want it does help and this is just a little reminder I guess I'll begin by just giving a little breakdown. Uh, I'll read the uh, information on PETA's website about this game. Let me just set the tone. National Institutes of Health experimenter Elizabeth Murray has spent the last 30 years cutting open monkeys' skulls, suctioning out or burning portions of their brains to cause permanent damage, and locking them in cages where she shows them large rubber snakes and spiders, terrifying them. These horrific experiments haven't advanced human health at all, of course. They've only tormented and killed animals and wasted precious medical resources. This is a game for kids! Alright, so this is a Flash game-esque platformer. It's not Flash, obviously, but it's a... It's very reminiscent of that uh, kind of uh, quality. You control an incredibly slow monkey who's missing his f***ing eye. Uh, trying to escape a lab. At this point, I shouldn't even have to acknowledge this, but uh, it controls like sh You control the monkey with WASD or the arrow keys, and also you can use the space bar to jump, but the game doesn't tell you that. Um, that's it. All right, so you escape your cage and you make your way to the right. You hop over a nuclear waste barrel, and then we see a monkey who uh, died of autoerotic asphyxiation. I'm sure, I'm sure plenty of scientific research labs have uh, barrels with uh, the nuclear logo on them and then a sh with uh skull and crossbones on it that definitely i'm sure is uh, very accurate it said a nuclear logo biohazard symbol i don't know why i'm even trying anymore let's just let's just throw the whole monkey out all right so we passed some ceiling drills what wh whatever that is and there's another monkey in the garbage and then i guess we got to save this monkey even though it doesn't up it doesn't apply a score to anything also he just evaporates and then we make our way to the exit which the other monkey did not do all right so the next stage uh you start off um mostly the same but you're immediately greeted by uh i guess uh this scientist with uh harlequin baby eyes and he's just walking back and forth like i'm gonna get you he's easy to hop over though and then we get um another uh dead monkey and this time dead monkey baby as a treat. Also, these are supposed to be scientists, and there's straight up just hardware tools on the wall. Like, I get that the reality of this probably isn't glamorous, but I don't think that these uh, scientists just like, go to Home Depot and pick up a handsaw and a hammer to conduct experiments. The rest of the stage is more of the same until you get to the end. Uh, there's a new um, monkey. This time it's dead with a bone sticking out of it, and I'm sure I'm probably not the only person thinking it, so uh, among us. By the way, I noticed that if you die um, before you press space to try again you can actually move the camera around as if you were still alive so that's that's very good and i actually didn't get any footage of it unfortunately but um i just found out that if you die uh sometimes when you press space to retry the level uh it doesn't spawn your character and you just you can go around the stage but nothing happens and you can't beat the game so 
That's cool. I have to restart it. This next stage is basically just more of the same. I don't, it doesn't really introduce anything new except for these uh, two brand new dead monkeys, a level three exclusive. This time we got some floor drills. That's, that's, that's probably not good for the, the scientists. We save another uh, uh, inconsequential monkey and then we make it to stage four. Now this stage has literally, literally nothing new. It's just, it's not even harder. It, I guess it has these wall drills, but that's it. And that's literally the whole stupid game. You beat that level and that's it. You you escaped. And now you're you're in a, a forest next to mountains. Ah, yes. The monkey's natural habitat. It's, um, it's gonna die. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it and want to see more, there's a couple other videos right there you can check out. And if you want to see everything I upload, subscribe and then tap the bell icon. And if you want to help support the channel, I also have a Patreon right there too. Also go check out those other PETA videos.